From books and online classes to emails and files, being online critical for today's college students. It's likely an understatement to say the cyber attack on Truman University has complicated the lives of students and professors. Our Jackson Saylor joining us now in Studio Jackson. What's next for Truman? Yeah, Aaron, with final exams knocking on the door, it's a really stressful time for both students and professors. Throw in a cyber attack and that stress level, well, it's only gonna amplify. But I spoke with one administrator at Truman State today, and he said things are just about back to normal. Last Friday, Truman State University fell victim to a cybersecurity virus attack that left students and staff without access to the internet, impacting online classes, communication, assignments, and much more. Five days later, almost all systems are a go, with Truman faculty member Charles McAdams telling KTVO that the main remaining issue is communicating via email. Uh, we've still been able to communicate uh, with the telephone and talking to people, but uh, our ability to email or use the internet was uh, disrupted. Even though students and professors now have access to online class material, with so many assignments requiring that online access, students won't have to worry about their grades dipping due to the attack. So we have asked uh, faculty uh, not to uh, penalize students in any way for uh, turning uh, work in late uh, if, if uh, there were certain assignments due yesterday or even last Friday. Uh, there, there won't be those uh, uh, penalties for, for turning uh, work in late. McAdams also told KTVO that students and professors will be in touch as to how to navigate this unique circumstance, but sees final exams going off without a hitch. So uh, faculty will make those adjustments and communicate those with students, but the uh, schedule for, for finals will continue uh, just as scheduled. McAdams told me today that the university is still unsure as to when everything will be back up and running at full capacity. Online classes have returned to their regular schedule, but at the moment employee emailing remains offline and students can send but not receive emails. Aaron.